Many people of various faiths, when asked if they would either go to heaven or hell, will like to imagine they would be able to make it to paradise if they did enough good works. The basis tends to be that they are not, quotations, that bad, or at least not as bad as someone they can think of, which gets them off the hook in their own eyes. In looking at the scriptures, the word of God doesn't hold us to that level and tells us the truth about who we are. Isaiah 64 verse 6 But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. Jeremiah 17 verse 9 The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Romans 3 verses 10 to 12. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way, they are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. The truth of the matter is that by nature, we are stained with wickedness and destruction. You can tell yourself, well, at least I've never done that. But does that make you blameless? If we took the Ten Commandments and asked ourselves, have I ever lied? Have I ever stolen? Have I ever lusted after or fornicated with someone I wasn't married to? Have I ever used the Lord's name in the place of a cuss word? Eventually, the answer will be you are guilty because one of those offenses is enough to make you fall out of God's holy standard, which you have transgressed. Which means you are just like the rest of us. In doing so, the wages of your sin is death. You are dead in your sins. How do you suppose to get to heaven in your depraved and broken state? Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9 For by grace ye are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 5 verses 8 to 10 But God commendeth his love toward us, in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. In the end, don't bother trying to save yourself. You won't be able to make it by your own will and pride. Let God save you and accept the price he paid for you. That's how you get saved.